Hey everyone, welcome back. We are back to talk about the new series I said I was going to talk about. I found a video in my feed yesterday that is going to be a game changer, a life changer for me. And that was Jesse over at Jay Wackers. I had had a private goal to lose 100 pounds by the end of the year for my 48th birthday, which falls on the 29th of December, just a few days before the end of the year. Y'all, I am so far behind the ball on losing 100 pounds, and if I can even do it, it's insane. But I was scrolling through YouTube last night, and I ran across Jessie's video from Jay Wackers, and I absolutely love her videos. She's probably one of my favorite YouTubers. And she was talking about being a part of a collab to get healthy in 2024. And I thought, oh my goodness, I love this. Kimberly, from all things Kimberly WV, which stands for West Virginia, has set up a collab with some other YouTubers in a fashion to get healthy for 2024. With this, we are holding each other accountable. We each are assigned a day of the week that we have to put up our video because we're holding ourselves accountable. We are being held accountable by each other. And now you all have to hold us accountable as well because if we have to put a video out, that means... Y'all, we better be working on getting healthy for 2024. So, I saw the video yesterday from Jesse over at Jay Wackers, and I thought, holy cow, this is what I need, game changer. To try to lose weight and get healthy on your own is hard enough as it is. But when you have other women who are in similar positions holding each other accountable and having such a great support system, This is what makes what we're doing work. We are talking to each other in a chat group. We are holding each other accountable, being there as a support system. This, I think, is what I absolutely needed to to kick this off even faster. Now, obviously, I didn't kick it off fast enough because I was supposed to start this in January. In my inbox last Monday on March 18th, I believe it was. WW had sent me a re invite invitation. Now, I've been on WW before, didn't do very well, but it wasn't WW's fault, which is Weight Watchers. It was because I wasn't tracking and I really didn't have the mindset to do what I needed to do when I was in it previously. So it has nothing to do with Weight Watchers being a, a success or not a success. It was me not holding myself accountable not tracking, not doing any exercise, not doing anything, (laughs) not even caring about what I put in my mouth, food-wise. So once I saw Jesse show this video last night, it just sent a light bulb off. So I went over, and I will link Kimberly's video down below. I went over to watch Kimberly's video, and I was very much excited that I literally want on Instagram an instant message to her and said, I don't know how to do this. I talked to just myself, I guess, to say, you know what? You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. And I was like, I saw Jesse's video. I got to get in here. How do I get into this collab? I need this. This is what I need because I have a goal to lose 100 pounds by the end of this year. And uh, (laughs) we're here at the end of March and I've not lost very much. She says, absolutely jump in with us we'd love to have you everybody's got a day of the week that they need to put out their videos and we're holding each other accountable and we're gonna hold you accountable if we don't see your video (laughs) you're not holding yourself accountable and i said great when do you want me to do it she goes can you do it saturday well this was yesterday this is friday and i was like sure why not was i ready for this video today no but am i gonna be ready yeah absolutely you gotta start somewhere right I said, got it, girl. I I can definitely do this. So I'm going to link Kimberly's video down below in the description box. Please go watch it. She shows everybody else who is in this collab 
y'all, we're holding each other accountable. We're holding ourselves accountable. You guys have to hold us accountable too. If you don't see my video come out next Saturday, you better be tapping on me to go, hey, um, weren't you supposed to put a video out? Like, <laughs> yeah, hello, where you at? But definitely, this is a new series, y'all, and I am definitely going to work towards losing this 100 pounds down by December 29th of this year. That's my 48th birthday. So I'm going to give you all my stats. I'm going to give you my information. I'll give you a little bit of background information and things of that nature, and then we'll go from there. So let's talk about my stats. <laughs> all right. Last Monday on March 18th. I weighed in at my highest weight I've ever weighed in my entire life. Growing up and things of that nature, I was always very thin, very athletically toned, just perfect. I had no problems. I could, I didn't eat very much. I mean, I could eat whatever I wanted, but I just really didn't gain the weight. It wasn't until I had Danya. <laughs> Danya is going to be 15 in April that after her, and I went on a form of birth control that I started to gain weight and not be able to lose it. Now, if you don't already know, I've got four children. My eldest, Tori, is 25 and due to have her second baby boy on September 9th. My grandson's over here sleeping on my bed. He passed out today, so I'll be carrying him down after the video to his bed where he will sleep in his bed like a big boy. Uh, my grandson is four. And then we have Donya, who is going to be 15 next month in April on the 29th. We have Jessica, who is 14 years old and just turned 14 on January 31st. And follow with my only son, Philip, who is 13, and he turned 13 on January 25th. So those are my four kids. But it just seemed like after I had Danya, I couldn't lose the weight, y'all. Like, I couldn't lose any weight. It didn't seem to matter no matter what I did. Losing a pound or two was like pulling teeth. <laughs> it just wasn't happening. Um, so I weighed in on March 18th at my highest weight ever of 220 pounds. I am five foot two. At 220 pounds, my BMI is 40.2, which is alarming. Being at this heaviest weight and the weight of this size for my height is very, very unhealthy. It's very dangerous. I could have a lot of medical problems come on out of nowhere. And that's not what I need to do, y'all. I've got three teenagers still left in my house. And uh, yeah, that's not a healthy weight to be at. So stepping on the scale today, I weighed in at 218 pounds, which puts me down by two pounds in less than a week because I'm supposed to weigh in on Monday. Let's be real honest. I weigh in every day. <laughs> I need to know if I'm doing something wrong and not eating properly and that, yeah, yeah, that's me. Do I freak out about the scale going up and down? No, it can seesaw and I'll be okay. I'm just trying to make sure it's going down and not up. Now, next week, you will see some extra tracking pages. I apologize. I didn't have them ready tonight, but I will next week. And we're going to track all the things. So all these stats will be on there for next week. Now, I do have a couple of apps. I have the WW app. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I have another app called Happy Scale that I paid $12 for the whole year. And literally, it's just a weight logging scale that logs my weight and so forth and so on. Um, gives you predictions and things of that and when you'll reach your goal weight and all the things. So I have that app as well. I also have a BM, my BMI calculator, which also helps me to track my BMI, where I just put the numbers in and it tells me what my BMI is. So, 40.2 BMI is, holy cow, not healthy. <laughs> Let's be honest. So now that I weigh 218 pounds and I've dropped two pounds so far, my BMI has dropped from 40.2 to 39.9. So with that being said, y'all, I've got 98 pounds to lose by December 29th, 19, no, that's my birthday, 1976, December 29th, 2024. Yes, y'all, I was born in 1976, you believe that? <laughs> let's, not, let's not transport back then, okay? <laughs> so with that being said, that's the situation, 98 pounds to go. Can I do it? I hope so. Let's see. You know, let's try for this. 
All right, so that is what's going on right now. I currently wear a size medium in tops. I currently wear a size 14 in either jeans or pants or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's a tight 14 right now. Let me tell you, it's it's a tight 14. I mean, 16s are a little bit big. 14s are a little tight. So it would probably be more of a 15, I will say. Let's just say 15 to be on the safe side. So anyways, that's the situation right now with my weight. That's my goal is to get down to 120 pounds. Now at five foot two, that's a very healthy BMI for me, uh, weight wise. I should say not BMI, I'm sorry, weight wise. Um, I think that puts me at, a, I wanna say it's like an 18 BMI or something within that, which is a healthy BMI for me. So, all right, you see this chart that says pounds down and then we'll get into my meal plan and things of that nature. This chart that says pounds down, my son and I created it. It will be on my Etsy store here shortly. My daughter has created a sticker. I don't have the sticker on here yet. So next time you see this chart or this jar, you'll see the sticker on there. It's literally a sticker that my daughter created and it says pounds down and it'll have a hundred in the middle. I'm actually creating these for my Etsy shop for 25, 50, 75, and 100. I don't give out the mason jars because I don't like mason jars being shipped, but it's a sticker that I will put on here that will have 100 on here. At least for me it will because I have to lose 100 pounds down. Now, just because I'm not sighted doesn't mean that I don't do things visually to help others out. So I have my little bag here, my little velvet bag, which will also be coming with the chart and everything else, depending on the weight you lose. And I have 100 marbles in the bag. Now, obviously, that's not 100 in my hand. But I need to represent my weight down. So, next Saturday, remember, you're going to see a little sticker on here that says pounds down. It'll have 100 in the middle because that's what I need to lose. I've lost two pounds so far. So there's one and two. That means this bag's got 98 more marbles that I need to have in this jar by my birthday. This is a representative representation of me losing 100 pounds. This is kind of this gets filled all the way up, y'all. Like there ain't hardly any room to screw this cap on when you put 100 marbles in the 16 ounce mason jar. But that's just to show everybody that I have lost two pounds. Now, if I gain, I have to take a pound out of here. Or if I gain two pounds, I have to take weight out of here. So if I gain any weight, I have to take the pounds out. If I don't gain the weight, the pounds go in when I do lose them. So 98 pounds more to go. This chart here is something my son and I created. It says 100, or it says 100 pounds down. And so it's got 100 little circles on there. And as you see, we've already colored in two circles. So there we go, we're two pounds down. I will have another chart, maybe two charts for you to show you as well on next Saturday because I also have a scale chart that I will be tracking my weight every single week for you as well. You'll see the weight logins on Saturday. So let's talk about the WW plan, which is my Weight Watchers plan. I have 23 daily points. I have like, oh my gosh, I wanna say 26 additional weekly points or something of that nature. I will check that in on Monday because I don't know exactly how many extra numbers I have right now point-wise for extras for the week, but I didn't do so well today when it came to eating. Um, I did stay within point budget. I have 23 points per day. My breakfast this morning consisted of just my coffee. Now, I misspoke earlier. The no sugar vanilla, French vanilla creamer is only one point, not two points. One point per two tablespoons of that creamer. I thought it was two, but I went back and checked. It's only one. So I had that along with my Starbucks uh, Blonde Rose Coffee K-Pod and... I also had two hard-boiled eggs. Now, the two hard-boiled eggs didn't cost me any points at all. Those were free. The coffee was free. It was just a creamer that cost me. 
I didn't put any sugar in my creamer at all. So, y'all, that was like one point for breakfast, okay? <laughs> lunch, y'all, I didn't eat lunch. I was planning on eating lunch, and then when lunchtime came around, I wasn't hungry at all, so I didn't eat. Dinner got switched up a little bit tonight. My daughter got home later than expected. She needed to buy something for her car to replace it. So we went ahead and did shake and bake boneless skinless chicken breast. Now you'll see that picture here in just a moment because I did have a picture taken of it so you can at least see my dinner for the night. I'll be trying to do better when it comes to showing you what I eat in a day or be able to show you my meals off and on and things of that nature. I'm just getting started with this series, so I gotta make sure I do this properly for you guys and show you exactly what I'm doing um, for that. So we decided to do shake and bake chicken, which kind of made me nervous because I didn't know how many points that was gonna cost me, but I knew I only had one point for breakfast. I didn't do anything for lunch. I did have some snacks, but all my snacks were zero points. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So I ended up with a little bit bigger piece of a chicken breast than I thought I was going to eat. I was a little bit more hungrier and I had plenty of points to use. My dinner started with the boneless skinless chicken breast, which had shake and bake on it, which is about an eighth of a package for that boneless skinless chicken breast. It was about 6.5 ounces for the chicken breast, so a little bit bigger of a piece than, like I said, I assumed. I was gonna have a four ounce piece, but I ended up having a six and a half ounce piece. The chicken was zero points. The shake and bake coating cost me one point. We did have some great value turkey stuffing, and that was half a cup. That half cup only cost me three points. I did not eat the mashed potatoes, I just, didn't want them, and I knew those were pretty heavy in points. I still had plenty of points, but it was just too heavy in points for me, and I'm just trying to curve myself a little bit more. And then the bread that I showed you this afternoon from my grocery haul, the French bread from Walmart that usually is a dollar, when it was a dollar, and now when I picked it up, um, only cost me four points per slice. So I only had one slice, y'all. So that wasn't very much, y'all. That wasn't much at all. So my total for the day was extraordinarily low. It was nothing compared to what I thought it was going to be. So let's recap. The breading was one point. The stuffing was three, so that makes four points. The chicken was still zero, even at 6.5 ounces. If it was four ounces, it was zero. If it was six and a half ounces, it still was zero because it's boneless, skinless chicken breast. And we did actually put it in the oven versus grilling it tonight. I would have preferred it grilled, but it was getting too late. And then the bread cost me four points. So that was eight points, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points, y'all, that was only eight points. Eight plus the one from breakfast was nine points. So I spent nine points out of my 23 for the day. And I was like, holy cow, that's amazing. My snacks were all zero points. So if you don't know, a lot of fruits and a lot of veggies on WW are zero points. They're trying to lead you towards that. I did have half a cup of baby carrots raw for zero points. I paired that with the Skinny Girl ranch dressing, two tablespoons, zero points. I had an applesauce cup for four ounces, unsweetened for zero points, and I did have an apple um, medium red for zero points. So y'all, nine points for the day out of 23. I was like, yes, please. So some of those points are going to roll over for weeklies, and y'all, I won't be anywhere near spending any weeklies. I'm trying to stay underneath or at my 23 points per day for WW. So... I will be giving you that picture right now so that you can at least see my portion size for dinner. All right, guys. So now that we've done the meal for WW, at least for dinner, I will be better prepared next Saturday to show you some more meals that I will be having uh, throughout this next week for the WW plan. And also, I will let you know, I do have a step counter sheet that 
I actually will be tracking my steps. I do have a walking pad, y'all, and I bought it like six months ago. I haven't walked on it for more than a minute in six months. I don't have a goal or any crazy idea to, to do 20, 30,000 steps a day or anything of that nature, or not even do 10,000. I have no goal for steps. I need to start getting on the walking pad first before I start making a goal. Now in WW, I do have a 3.5K goal per day for walking. I'm hoping to at least minimum reach that. Now I work from home, so I don't actually have to go out and do a whole bunch of running around or be in a workplace where you're constantly walking. And by working from home, I mean I am a stay-at-home retired mom and I do YouTube on here. I do homeschooling with my kids. I'm cleaning house. Y'all, kids are always a work even when they're grown. Trust me. Um, we're always moms. We're always working no matter what. So I don't have to have crazy walking numbers. I have to get on my walking pad in order to create a lot more numbers for my steps than what normal people around the house would do. So that's what I plan to do. I plan to get on my walking pad starting tomorrow and start kicking into gear my steps. I will track my steps as of tomorrow morning and I, by next Saturday, I will show you the step counter tracker that I have. You'll see the pounds down as I start to lose the weight and you will also see a scale tracker that will have the weight logged in, my BMI and the date in which I stepped on the scale. So, with that being said, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to continue holding myself accountable. I am privileged and honored to be in this collab, and I hope that you guys check out Kimberly's video down below so that you can watch all of us as we are getting healthy for 2024. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and or suggestions, always remember you can leave it down below in the comment section down below. You can also touch base with me over on Instagram. That is linked down below in the description box. Or you could also send me an email if you want to talk to me privately. So, all right, y'all. We'll catch you next Saturday for this series. Tomorrow, we're getting caught up with March's budget because we almost in April. All right, thank you all. You have a great night. And Kimberly, thank you for putting this collab on. Jesse, thank you so much for putting that video out. Because if I hadn't seen your video, I wouldn't have even known this was taking place. And I wouldn't have the privilege to actually be in the collab and start working more seriously on my health. All right, y'all. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.